Welcome. In this video, we will be discussing the first three advanced mating tools within the assembly environment of SOLIDWORKS. I will also be releasing a part two advanced mates beginner's guide where we will finish up with the final three mates available to you. These advanced mates include profile center, symmetric, width, path mate, linear, linear coupler, and limit mates. By becoming familiar with these advanced mates, you will gain even greater control and precision in your assembly designs. Mates play a crucial role in defining relationships between parts within an assembly. They provide the foundation for accurate alignment and movement of components, ensuring the integrity and functionality of your designs. Let's explore each of these advanced mates in detail. Let's start by exploring the profile center mate, a useful tool in aligning the centers of two profiles. To use this tool effectively, ensure the profiles are suitable, such that they are made up of fully circular edges or faces, linear edges, or regular polygons. All components shown here follow these guidelines and are suitable for applying a profile center mate confidently. To start, access the mates tool in the assembly tab of the command manager. In the mates property manager, go to the advanced tab. You will find the profile center option as the first choice. Select the Profile Center command to initiate. There are now a few additional options appearing once you make a tool selection. There is now a dimension box available. This is where you can place Profile Center offset distances between the two entities. You can prevent the rotation of your cylindrical components by selecting the lock rotation box if you wish. If you need to change the orientation of your profile center selections, you have clockwise and counterclockwise options. And lastly, we have the mate alignment option. You can select between aligned and anti-aligned. Upon activation, you'll be prompted to choose the profiles you want to align at their centers. From here, all we'd have to do is select the profiles or faces that we would like to center align. We now see that the profiles of each one of the components that we selected are now aligned. Let's select OK to complete this operation. From here, we can go ahead and add an additional mate. We're going to place this six-sided polygon on the underside of our sheet. Make those two selections. We should get a preview. Once you're OK with this, we can go ahead and click OK from the Property Manager. And now we have two profile center mates being applied between three different components, perfectly centering their profiles. The next tool we will explore is the Symmetry Mate. This is a tool that ensures two similar entities align symmetrically about a chosen plane or planar face. The first thing we need to do is select the Mate tool from the Assembly tab of the Command Manager. Once this tool is activated, we can select the Advanced tab of the Mates Property Manager and then head down to the Mates Types where we're going to select the Symmetric Mate. Once this tool is activated, the Mate Selections box changes a little bit. From here, we are prompted to select a symmetry plane to perform this operation about, as well as select any specific entities we would like to include in this operation. I'll start with the plane. We're going to utilize the feature flyout tree and select our right plane. From here, we need to select the entities that we would like to be symmetric about the right plane. I'm going to choose two points for this gate. And then I'm going to choose the same point on the other gate. If I select OK in the Property Manager, when I move this gate, the right gate should move at the exact same rate as the left gate, creating symmetry between those two points that we selected and the right plane. The next and final mate we will be discussing in this video is the width mate. The width mate allows users to specify the distance between two parallel or planar faces. 
This mate type is commonly used to control the gap or spacing between components, ensuring accurate alignment and clearance requirements are met. It is particularly valuable in designs where precise spacing is critical. As you can see here through these quick examples, we notice there is another option within the Width Mate tool that we will be talking about. These additional options will allow the designer to establish amazing detailed results. Let's begin by having a look at our assembly to determine which degrees of freedom are still underdefined. From here, let's activate our Mates tool, locate and click the Advanced Mates tab, and then navigate to the Width Mate option. Before we continue, let's have another look at the additional options available to you in the Width command. The drop-down below the Width command has four options. Centered, which aligns the tab centrally within the width of a groove. This option is the only one available when the distances for the width selection are equal. Free, this option allows components to move unrestrictedly within the boundaries set by the selected faces or planes relative to the components themselves. Dimension, this enables you to define a distance or angle dimension between one set of selections and the nearest opposing set of faces or planes. With the dimension and percentage constraints, you can choose to flip the dimension to fit your design. Percentage. This defines the distance or angle based on a percentage value dimension from one set of selections to the center of the other selection set. Let's go ahead and begin our width operation by selecting the Mates tool, then navigating through the Property Manager to the Advanced tab and selecting the Width tool. At the top of the property manager, we see two new input boxes. The first box, or width selection one, will be two planar faces we'd like our second set of entities to be constrained between. The second box is where you'll place the entities of the tab that will go between width selection one. With selection one active, head to your assembly and select the two faces you want your tab to be between. Then, Activate the Selection 2 box and select the two outside faces of the tab. Once you make your selections, if you have Preview option on, you should see your component react to the new mate. Let's finish this up by selecting the green check in the Property Manager. We can now change our view to see how this assembly will react to the new width. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Advanced Mates tools within SOLIDWORKS. Stay tuned for part two of this video where we will be diving into the remaining advanced mates, path mate, linear coupler, and limit mates. If you have any questions or if you simply want to reach out, please feel free to do so. Hawkridge Systems contact information will be provided in the description. Thank you.